today we're working on the LT car and be going over a few things that we finished up after the last video and then we're going to be heading over to the dyno see what this thing makes and so we've got everything under the hood of the LT car pretty much wrapped up been finishing up some last of the can box integration stuff we have the AC all hooked up got our AC lines and the firewall down to the sanding compressor up over to the condenser got a new CSF aluminum radiator in here because we ended up breaking the neck off the plastic one cowl back on here still have everything open up here because our OBD2 port is still under the cowl for tuning we're gonna leave that accessible all right so as far as the AC control I'm gonna show you how that works looking at HP tuners here so I'll fire up the car Lights on the dash, tack and cool and temperature working. Go ahead and turn the AC off, get connected to our scanner. All right, we're all connected and reading now. The first thing we'll show you is our generator status here is pass, and we are charging. The CAN box sends the correct signal to the ECU to control the PWM Gen 5 alternator. The next thing we're going to do is scroll down here to AC. We are reading AC pressure with our factory GM AC pressure sensor, which is tapped into the BMW rail. We'll show the adapter and the wiring diagram. So right now we have serial AC serial command off. So we go ahead and turn on BMW AC and you'll see that this AC serial jumps to on and our high side pressure starts to build. Fan control is automatically set up with AC pressure as well as coolant. So our AC is already starting to go You can't even really tell the idle change. The factory AC controller works very well. AC is working. Pressure control, the high pressure cutoff, wide open throttle cutoff, and RPM cutoff are all adjustable in the tune, so you can take care of that. And then this pressure control cuts it off on the low side. So if this is too low, it will not kick on the AC compressor output out of the ECU. You can see right there, AC clutch engage. Yes, that's the output of the ECU. So that takes care of the AC control. Makes 450, I'd be happy. 
I gotta say 461. <laughs> 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 All right, it's the next day. We're back from the dyno. We didn't record the ending to there, so we got all finished up with the dyno. The car made really good power, like 460, 468 horsepower. Basically, a stock L86 or an LT1, ETR220 cam through a 6L80 on ethanol on a dyno jet. And we all know Caesar's dyno is a heartbreaker. So 468 horsepower, almost 470 horsepower. NA with AC through full exhaust, single three and a half. Very happy with those numbers. What you didn't see at the end there was we had an issue with the transmission. This car had a 6L80E out of the pullout and it had had some transmission issues. The fluid was really gross when it came out, so we knew that it was going to come apart, but we ended up losing first gear. Everything works now, but first gear is neutral. So, what you're going to see us do next is pull the 6L80E out and put a 10 speed in. One of the really nice things about using this factory GM ECU is that it can control 8 speed and 10 speed GM automatics. We got a 10 speed from Caesar out of a Camaro. We're gonna put together the wiring that we need to do and swap this thing out for a 10 speed. Go through all of that, show you what's involved. It'll give us a chance to make sure everything works with the 10 speed. Cooler and everything that's in this should be good because it uses a similar adapter and probably going to go ahead and change out the rear gear right now this is a 346 335i rear end probably going to go ahead and put a 308 in it with the 10 speed and have a nice high weight cruiser will have lower first gear at the 10 speed and we'll get it back on the dyno get it tuned up with the 10 speed continue to go over to the lt swap series so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions about the LT swap, leave it in the comments below. If you have any other questions about the swap, you can see all of our other videos. And hopefully you'll be seeing more and more 
LT swaps coming soon. Parts are on the website. Catch you guys in the next one.